This AI can create games. That's right. It can make sound effects, it can make images, it can make scripts, and most importantly, it can create models. 3D models for you to use in your game, which is something I haven't seen anywhere else. Diving right into it, you may wonder what the name of the software is, and for those of you who are wondering, it is Dream Maker, created by Dreamix, and is basically overall an AIGC game engine, which stands for a artificial intelligence generated content, which means that it can create pretty much anything you want in the game besides building. However, there are all sorts of things you can do. You have the AI assistant right here that can do really anything you want. It can write poems, it can write scripts if you tell it to, I believe. It can create models if you wanted to, but they've also got all these different buttons, such as the text to model, this is where you write down something and it will go ahead and create a certain 3D model depending on the prompt that you gave it. Like if I were to write down a cupcake right here, it would go through and actually model me a cupcake that I can put inside of my game. So after a few attempts and a little bit of time, it actually created me a model right here. It looks like the bottom of a cupcake. And if we click on this, you can see it's actually going to import this and we can get it ready for our game. It gives you a little 3D little view here that you can actually go ahead and look at the cupcake. And ultimately, it's not going to be ultra high resolution or anything, but it's pretty cool considering that an AI actually created it. And you can give it a name such as a cupcake, just like this, a description. And you can either upload it, share it for everyone else for free, or create an NFT for it, which is actually kind of cool. After that, you confirm that you want to upload it. It will go ahead, upload it, and you can find it inside of your assets right up here. Using your assets, you can actually go ahead and place these down wherever you want to. And now we have a huge cupcake inside of our game. It uses the almost exact same tools that any other game engine would use, such as the select, move, rotate, and scale. And each of these work accordingly to their abilities. But they even have a broad range of colors that you can change and create the color of your model. And not to mention, they also have a huge broad range of materials as well that you can change any type of thing for your cupcake to look like. And that's how the text to model works. However, they also have a text to image, sort of like mid journey if you ever seen this, but we can make a popular painting like a Mona Lisa and we can see what it comes up with here. It'll give you all sorts of images if you wait for a little bit of time, like a taco shell if you wanted to do that. You could do, oh, here they are right now. And you have all these sorts of Mona Lisas right here. Some of them aren't going to be all too great. Then you go over to text to audio right here, and you can create all sorts of audio things like a volcanic night, Star Trek, mystical castles, all sorts of things. I wonder if you can make a popping sound effect. We'll see what it can come up with, but this AI is so cool because it's got so many features that I haven't seen anywhere else just yet. Like the text to model, I had never even heard of an AI modeling something before, and I just think that is absolutely insane. So it just generated our audio real quick. Let's go ahead and see if it sounds like a popping sound effect. It is 10 seconds long, so I don't think it is overall too much of a little short popping sound effect. Let's give it a quick listen. That is not a popping sound effect. I wonder if it can't do sound effects and moreover just does music. But overall, that's still pretty cool. I wonder if they're going to expand on that and allow it to make sounding sound effects in the future. After that, they have the analog dialog or the AI dialog section. This is where you can write down a prompt and it can give you like a storytelling scene. It can give you lines for your characters that you want. It can give you... Uh, voice lines if you wanted to, all sorts of different things that require dialogue, and that is pretty cool. And last but not least, they have the video to model. They have this little demonstration right here. They have a little orange giraffe, it looks like, on top of this little green and red structure. And it's actually able to create a pretty realistic model just based off the video. 
And I think that's pretty cool. So if you have any 360 degree videos that capture an object, I think it'd be pretty useful for you to put it in here and see what I can do. That's pretty much the AI concept of everything for DreamMaker so far they're adding. Once again, they are still in the beta features of actually developing out the DreamMaker AI. So hopefully in the future, it'll actually get a little more complex and we can do more things with it. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, thought it was interesting, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. Don't forget to leave your thoughts on DreamMaker in the comments. I'll try and respond to them. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.